Well, hello, everybody. It's Brother Todd with your Victory Minute. I hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, wanted to bring you uh, this little minute from outside. Went out to record it, and the wind was blowing uh, uh, 100 miles an hour, felt like, and the microphone was making noise, and what hair I got left was blowing all over the place. So I run back into my office. I've uh, been sitting here working all, all morning long. I started out to kind of get some other outside stuff done today, and uh, Pastor John, Pastor Art, and I, we've been working on, we got to talking about stuff we've been working on all week, which is trying to get back to where we can have our regular, you know, uh, a church service type things, and we're working on that. And I know everybody's kind of wondering what are we going to do and this kind of thing and that, but we're working on a couple of different options right now. Y'all be praying for us. We'll be getting word out to you pretty quick if it looks like any of those can kind of happen. I, uh, every time we get right up on something, I, I'll find something with it that I just can't get settled on about y'all's safety. And uh, uh, so <laughs> We're trying to work on it hard. I I, I don't want anybody getting sick because they uh, cause they they got around a bunch of people. But anyhow, we'll figure all that stuff out. But I wanted to talk to you about uh, a verse of scripture that kind of came up this week while we were kind of talking about Philippians chapter three, and it it comes out of a statement that Pastor Art. I'm pointing right there because he was sitting at the chair across from me a little earlier today, and we were talking about how we we have so many people. Uh, now that are watching these minutes and watching church beyond just our normal little old church family. It's frankly, it's growing up quite a bit and, uh, and we're sure glad to have all of you. But the, um, uh, but the reality is we were talking about how this is, has hit a, 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 a need in people's life. And, and Pastor Art made a statement. He said, you know, a lot of people's lives have been shaken. The things that we're dependent on, they're recognizing they're not they're not going to really hold up, whether it's your 401k or what the stock market was doing or even our own health and those kinds of things. We we recognize we're eternal beings and and it can only, that eternal being's uh, itch can only be scratched with something that's eternal. And so, uh, but when he said the word shaking, it jumped out at me. And I and I got to thinking, I was sitting here thinking about um, where uh, Paul uh, and them were talking to the church at Thessalonica and they told them, said, you know, we told you these things were going to happen and we, we're going to tell you some truth here so that you are not shaken. Um, Pro, uh, Psalms chapter 62, uh, David's talking about trusting in the Lord and not being shaken. And then that verse that I, I alluded to talked about a little bit this week, when we were talking about uh, Philippians chapter three was Psalms chapter one, where it talks about there being two ways. In fact, I hope you get to catch the message this week. Um, I preached about the reality of two ways and how one way always overcomes the other way, how light always overcomes darkness, how right will overcome wrong. And uh, I hope you can you can watch it to be released at three o'clock on Saturday. In fact, talking about being released, Brother David Gilmer uh, filled in for our staff evangelist, Brother Jim Everidge, this uh, uh, this week. And uh, that message that he preached is already released. It'll do you a great deal. It's about picking up where we're going to be doing our what we call hot topics and in August uh, about your family and train up a child in the way that he should go. And he did a message on the way. So it, it'd be a real help to you. Brother David's forgotten more about family than I'll ever know. But um, but anyway, so we were, we, were, we were talking about those things are going to be released and, um, uh, and these two ways. And one way will leave you shaken and one way will let you stand on solid ground. And if you think about there in Psalms 1 where he's talking about those two ways and how, how somebody's happy and blessed, if they're not walking in, you know, the, the ways of this world or they're, or they're making their, con they, they have real convictions that stand against ungodly things and how they don't set, how their, their company is not kept in things that bring them down, bring them into negative thinking, help make them want to live in regrets and those kinds of things. And you, and you talk, if you think about it, he, he said that man, he said that person does what? He said they, they're, they're in the word of God, they delight in the word of God, and they, and they meditate on it. And then he said, verse three, and that's where I'm going with all this. He said, he said he'll be, he said that person, it's not just masculine, just using it in the general sense. He said that person is, is going to be planted uh, like a tree beside living water, beside a tree with a great water support. 
support. And, and he said, then it's going to bring its fruit. Its leaf is going to endure. And that person is going to prosper in everything it's going to do. If you think about that tree with me there a minute, um, that tree uh, is, if it's planted by that good water source, those roots go deep. It gets all that it needs. A tree planted by water will always grow bigger. I live down in Rosser, Texas, where we, we don't even have a water supply. We've got such good well water. And, um, uh, a friend of mine was looking at digging a well, and he's got space out there in the country, and he got a few old big pecan trees. And he said, Brother Todd, where should I drill that well? And I said, well, I'd drill it right in the middle of them three big pecan trees because wherever you see natural pecan trees uh, showing up and they're that big, Bubba, they got a good water source somewhere. And he told me he hit water about eight, nine feet. So the... Uh, so what I'm saying is, is when you got that good source, that, 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 that trunk of that tree doesn't move. Okay. It just doesn't move and it's not shaken. Okay. Uh, Paul told him, don't want you to be shaken. David said, we don't need to be, we don't need to be shaken. When you get shaken, you could, two things can happen. You can lose your place and because you lose your balance. Okay. And so what the word of God is talking to us about there is that, is that when we've made that right choice and, and we're, and we're trying to follow the Lord in it, what it does, it establishes us in our life. And I know I've done a lot of talking, but I want to ask you a question is, does your life feel shaky? Do you feel like you just don't really have your feet down on good ground? Well, number one, I'd go back, and listen to the message I preached last week. I'd be sure and catch this one this week. And I'll, it talks a lot about these things in a lot of detail. But if you're making the choice for the Lord and you have and just continue to grow in it, because what it's going to do is it's going to establish you. I like to ride motorcycle quite a bit. It's where I get my alone time. And um, uh, I got some places around different parts of the county, you know, different counties uh, that I know are pretty country places and isolated places. One of my favorite places is beside a low water crossing and a, and a creek at a creek. And right beside where I sit, I always sit in the shade of this huge a cottonwood tree. It is bigger than every other tree around there. I mean, it, it might be as big a one as I've ever seen. And I was, and I was out there the other day and, uh, and, I, and I saw something I hadn't seen. I went around kind of on the back side of it, and I noticed there's a spring coming out of the ground, no more than 10, 12 feet from it. And this spring is just running. Some of the coolest, clearest water you ever seen in your life. Well, well, what's going on? Well, that tree has got itself connected to a water source that the other ones don't have. And, it, and I don't care how hard that wind's blowing, the bottom of that tree is just standing there like a stone. I mean, uh, me and three guys my size couldn't reach our arms around, touch hands around that tree. Why? Because it is so established. And it don't matter how bad them leaves are blowing in the top. I'm telling you, that thing is anchored. It is solid. These COVID-19 times, these economic times, all these things, guys, the winds are blowing, the storm is out. But I'm going to tell you what, but the believer can have that, that's that reality of, of being solid that's happening in their life. And when you get established like that, what happens? Well, that person becomes fruitful and a fruit in an etern in a spiritual sense is a work of eternal significance. What is coming out of my life that blesses your life in an eternal way? Okay. That's fruit. Fruit is my life touching your life and it, and it being an increase. God does something in me. It does something in you. God does something in you. You reach out into somebody else and it gives an increase. Okay. So there's the blessing. Christ came into this world to seek and to save that which was lost. He wanted to bring people along with him. That's the work he calls us into. And so when we're really established in Christ and we're walking deep in his word, what happens when we've made that good choice? What happens? We get established. As we get established, we become fruitful. And it's not just that, because if you think about it, look at verse 3 there in Psalms chapter 1 again. What does he say? He said, its leaf will endure, okay? It, its leaf endures all the time. So what that means is not only is that person, a, a person like that is living out touching other people, but that person, that tree itself is living in abundance. That tree has what it needs. Weirdest thing in the world in Christianity, if you empty yourself out, God will make sure you're filled up. And so not only are you living the type of life where you're taking care of everybody else and your needs aren't being met, but the reality is God keeps you overfilled. I talked a lot about the spirit filling us in this message that's coming up, coming out at three o'clock on Saturday. I don't mean to keep running a commercial for it, but I'm just telling you there's there's a lot more there than what I can talk about in one of these victory minutes. And so what happens is, is as we establish ourselves in the Lord and we make that good choice and we're walking in his word and you're, and you're, and you're going to what, what we talked about this week, forgetting those things which are behind, reaching forward to the things that are ahead, pressing on, 
towards the mark of the prize of the high call of God, when we have set our mark and when we're reaching forward and we're not letting our past failures, past successes, and empty dreams hold us down, what happens? God establishes us. We get to a position where we're not shaken. Okay, our place isn't, we're not removed very easily. Our lives aren't shaky. What happens? We begin to be a blessing into somebody else's life and the need of our own life is filled. And what did he say at the end of the verse? He said, and the way of that person is going to prosper. The word of God is the only thing in the whole Bible that where if you get connected to the word of God, God promises you prosperity. I know there's lots of people running around out there talking about health and wealth and making money and all this stuff off the gospel and that all that stuff is... Most of it's nonsense. If somebody's just trying to get in your pocket, but, but, but the reality is God won't be outgiven. God will prosper you. He'll increase you. He'll strengthen you. And, and, and what happens? We live a life worth living. We live a life where we live contented. If you're not living a life of eternal consequence right now, if you feel like you're being blown about, shaken about, you're not even sure where you're standing in life, you're not even sure if you're reaching people and it matters, if you're not, you're not having abundance in your own life, then guys, that is not the kind of prosperity you want. There is a better way. There's a good way. Jesus Christ, he said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. I'm telling you what. Pick him up and follow him. You know, the, the early Christians, before they were called Christians, were called followers of the way. And he's the way to salvation. He's the way to hope. He's the way to life. And I'm going to tell you what, he's the way to abundant life. He said, I've come that you might have life and that you may have it more abundantly. And what I'm praying for you is that you do really get to live that abundant, victorious life. We named this church Victory Church because I'd been out preaching for a good while. And one of the things I saw was people were not living in victory. A great many people weren't living in the victory that comes in salvation. And a lot of people that had been saved weren't living in the victory of the abundant life. But that's what God has for us. He, what he, what he wants to give us. That's what he'll push you to, drive you to, and fill you to. And I pray that you really experience him. I hope and I pray that you get to be with us through all our, our weekend messages. Um, be sure, they keep telling me to say this because it, it helps other people get it. Be sure and like these things if you're watching them on, on Facebook. They also tell me you can follow us if you're getting these things and you haven't, uh, uh, you maybe just kind of showed up out of the blue and you want to make sure you keep getting them. They say if you follow us, uh, I, I think I because think it's a church or a business, however they do a business deal, it's like a fan or something like that. I don't know about all that. Y'all know more about that Facebook stuff than I do. I'm just glad we're getting to have this time together, whether you're catching us on YouTube or the website, victorychurch.ch. But well, however it goes, just uh, I'm glad you're here, and I hope that God uses this time in our lives uh, for us to all get established get fruitful, um, what was the other one? Get to living that abundant life and living the prosperity God has for you. Love you. Hope you have a great weekend. Bye-bye.